This is the BBC Home Service. Hello, children. Today we present Norman Shelley in Winnie the Pooh, adapted for broadcasting from the book by A. A. Milne, with music by H. Fraser Simpson. We come today to the seventh adventure, The Expedition to the North Pole. Sweet to be a cloud Floating in the blue It makes him very proud To be a little cloud How sweet to be a cloud Floating in the blue One fine day, Pooh had stumped up to the top of the forest to see if his friend Christopher Robin was interested in bears at all. At breakfast that morning, a simple meal of marmalade spread lightly over a honeycomb or two, he had suddenly thought of a new song. <laughs> Sing ho for the life of a bear. Hmm. That's a very good start for a song, but what about the second line? Ho ho! No, that doesn't seem to help. Well, perhaps it would be better if I sang High for the Life of a Bear. High for the Life of a Bear. No, that's no better. Oh, very well then, I shall sing that first line twice. And perhaps if I sing it very quickly, I shall find myself singing the third and fourth lines before I have time to think of them. And that'll be a good song. Now then. Ah, yes. Sing ho for the life of a bear. Sing ho for the life of a bear. I don't much mind if it rains or snows Cause I've got a lot of honey on my nice new nose I don't much care if it snows or thaws Cause I've got a lot of honey on my nice clean paws Sing ho for a bear, sing ho for a poo And I'll have a little something in an hour or two Sing ho for a bear, sing ho for a poo and I'll have a little something in an hour or two. <laughs> yes. Pooh was so pleased with this little song that he sang it all the way to the top of the forest. And if I go on singing it much longer, it will be time for the little something, and then the last line won't be true. Sing ho for a bear, sing ho for a poo. Christopher Robin was sitting outside his door, putting on his big boots. As soon as he saw the big boots, Pooh knew that an adventure was going to happen, and he brushed the honey off his nose with the back of his paw and spruced himself up as well as he could so as to look ready for anything. Oh, good morning, Christopher Robin. Hello, Pooh Bear. I can't get this boot on. Oh, that's bad. Do you think you could be very kind and lean against me? Because yeah. I keep pulling so hard yes. that I fall over backwards. Oh, all right. I'll oh. sit down and lean on you and then you pull. Who sat down, dug his feet into the ground and pushed hard against Christopher Robin's back. And Christopher Robin pushed hard against his and they pulled and pulled at his boot until yeah, he had got it on. Ah! Oh. And that's that. Thank you, Pooh. Oh, <laughs> what do we do next, Christopher Robin? We are all going on an expedition. Going on an expedition? Oh, I don't think I've ever been on one of those. Where are we going to on this expedition? Expedition, silly old bear. It's got an X in it. Oh, of course, yes, an X, yes. We're going to discover the North Pole. Oh. Um, what is the North Pole? The North Pole? Oh, it's just a thing you discover. Oh, I see. Are bears any good at discovering it? 
Of course they are. And rabbits and kangaroo and all of you. It's an expedition. That's what an expedition means. A long line of everybody. Oh, thank you. Yes. You'd better tell the others to get ready while I see if my gun's all right. And we must all bring provisions. Bring what? Things to eat. Oh. Oh, I thought you said provisions. Uh, I'll go and tell them. Goodbye, Pooh. Pooh stumped off. And the first person that he met was Rabbit. Hello, Rabbit. Is that you? Well, let's pretend it isn't Pooh and see what happens. <laughs> I've got a message for you. All right. I'll give it to him. You'll, you'll give it to him? Oh, oh, yes. Well, we're all going on an expedition with Christopher Robin. And we're going to discover a pole or something. Or, or was it a mole? Well, anyhow, we're going to discover it. Oh, we are, are we? Yes, and we got to bring pro, uh, uh, pro uh, things to eat with us in case we want to eat them, you see. Now, I'm going down to Piglets. Tell Kango, will you? I will. Goodbye, Goodbye. Pooh. Goodbye. 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 Pooh left Rabbit and hurried down to Piglet's house. The Piglet was sitting on the ground at the door of his house, blowing happily at a dandelion and wondering whether it would be this year... Next year, sometime, or never. Piglet. Oh, Piglet, we're going on a, an expedition, all of us, with things to eat, to, to discover something. To discover what? Oh, just something. <laughs> Nothing fierce. Well, Christopher Robin didn't say anything about fierce. He just said it had a, had a, a neck. It isn't their necks, I mind. It's their teeth. Oh. But if... Christopher Robin's coming. I don't find anything. Good, yes. In a little while, they were already at the top of the forest and the expedition started. First came Christopher Robin and Rabbit, then Piglet and Pooh, then Kango with Rue in her pocket, and Owl, then Eeyore, and at the end, in a long line, all Rabbit's friends and relations. I didn't ask them, they just came. They always do. They can march at the end, after Eeyore. After Eeyore, of course. Well, what I say is it's unsettling, Rabbit. I didn't want to come on this expo... Titian. What Pooh said. I only came to oblige. But here I am. If I'm the end of the expedition, <laughs> what we're talking about, then let me be the end. But if every time I want to sit down for a little rest, I have to brush away half a dozen of rabbits, smaller friends and relations first, then this isn't an expedition. Whatever it is at all. It's simply a confused noise. That's what I say. I see what you mean. If you ask me... I'm not asking anybody, Owl. I'm just telling everybody. We can look for the North Pole, or we can play here we go gathering nuts in May with the end part of an ant's nest. It's all the same to me. Come on! Oh, we're starting. We must go. All right, we're going. Only don't blame me. <laughs> so off they all went to discover the pole. And as they walked, they chatted to each other of this and that, all except Pooh, who was making up a song. Well, this is the first verse, Piglet. First verse of what, Pooh? My song, of course. It's oh, about our expedition to discover a pole or something. It goes like this, I think. They all went off to discover the pole. Owl and Piglet and Rabbit and all It's a thing you discover as I have been told By Owl and Piglet and Rabbit and all E or Christopher, Robin and Pooh And Rabbit's relations all went to end Where the pole was none of them knew Sing hey for owl and rabbit and all Do you like that, Piglet? I think it's rather nice, don't you? Yes. 
sing hey for owl and rabbit and all his friends and relations and piglet and poo and kangaroo and roo and eeyore and christopher robin and all <laughs> yeah. shh poo hmm? we're just coming to a dangerous place oh we're yeah. shh piglet and all rabbits, friends and relations said shh hastily to each other all down the line until it got to the last one of all. And the last and smallest friend and relation was so upset to find that the whole expedition was saying shh to him that he buried himself head downwards in a crack in the ground and stayed there for two days until the danger was over and then went home in a great hurry and lived quietly with his aunt ever afterwards. His name was Alexander Beetle. They had come to a stream which twisted and tumbled between high rocky banks. And Christopher Robin saw at once how dangerous it was. It's just the place for an ambush. What sort of bush? A gorse bush? My dear Paul, don't you know what an ambush is? Hmm? An ambush is a sort of surprise. Oh, so is a gorse bush sometimes. Oh, stupid fellow. If people jump out at you suddenly, that... An well, a gorse bush once sprang on me very suddenly one day when I fell off a tree and it took me six days to get all the prickles out of myself. You're not talking about gorse bushes. Yes, but I am. They were climbing very cautiously up the stream now, going from rock to rock, and after they had gone a little way, they came to a place where the banks widened out at each side so that on each side of the water there was a level strip of grass on which they could sit down and rest. As soon as he saw this, Christopher Robin called Halt, and they all sat down and rested. Halt! 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 I think that we ought to eat all our provisions now, so that we shan't have so much to carry. Eat all our what? All that we've bought! Oh, that's a very good idea. <laughs> Have you all got something? All except me, as usual. I suppose none of you are sitting on a thistle by any charm? Well, I believe I am. Oh, yes, I was. I thought so. Thank you, Pooh. If you quite finish with it. Well, <laughs> it doesn't do them any good, you know. Sitting on them no, takes all the life out of them. Mm. Remember that another time, all of you. A little consideration, a little thought for others makes all the difference. Yes, you are. Mm. As soon as he had finished his lunch, Christopher Robin whispered to Rabbit. And they walked a little way up the stream together. I didn't want the others to hear, Rabbit. Quite so, Christopher Robin. It's... I wondered... It's only... Rabbit, I suppose you don't know what does the North Pole look like? Oh, well, now you're asking me. I did know once, only I've sort of forgotten. Well, it's a funny thing, but I've sort of forgotten too, though I did know once. I suppose it's just a pole stuck in the ground. Oh, sort of a pole, because of calling it a pole. And if it's a pole, well... I should think it'd be sticking in the ground, wouldn't you? Because there'd be really nowhere else to stick it. Yes, that's just what I thought. Well, the only thing is, where is it sticking? That's what we're looking for. Yes. So they went back to the others. Piglet was lying on his back, sleeping peacefully. Rue was washing his face and paws in the stream, while Kango explained to everybody proudly that this was the first time he'd ever washed his face himself. And Owl was telling Kanga an interesting anecdote full of long words like encyclopedia and uh, rhododendron, to which Kanga was not listening. First time he's ever 
Really, Jango? Well, I don't hold with all this washing, this modern behind-the-ears nonsense. What do you think, Pooh? Well, I think... But we shall never know what Pooh thought, for there came a sudden squeak from Rue, a splash, and a loud cry of alarm from Kanga. Hey, so much for washing. Rabbit and Christopher Robin came rushing down to the rescue. Rue's fallen in. Look at me swimming. Are you all right, Rue, dear? Yes, look at me swimming. And down Rue went over the next waterfall into another pool. Everybody was doing something to help. Piglet, wide awake suddenly, was jumping up and down and making, oh, I say, noises. Owl was explaining that in a case of sudden and temporary immersion, the important thing was to keep the head above water. And Eeyore had turned round and hung his tail over the first pool into which Rue fell, and with his back to the accident, was grumbling quietly to himself. Ridiculous, all this washing. But... Catch on to my tail, little Roo, and you'll be all right. Christopher Robin and Rabbit came hurrying past Eeyore and calling out to the others in front of them. All right, Roo, I'm coming. Get something across the stream. Lower down, some of you fellow. But Pooh was getting something. Two poles below Roo, he was standing with a long pole in his paw, and Kanga came up and took one end of it, and between them they held it across the lower part of the pool, and Roo drifted up against it and climbed out. Yes, I did. I thought you were good. That's called swimming. What I was doing. Rabbit, did you see what I was doing? Yes, I did. Swimming. Hello, Piglet. Hello, Roo. I say, Piglet. Yes. What do you think I was doing? Swimming. Ooh. Christopher Robin, Ooh. did you see me? But Christopher Robin wasn't listening. He was looking at Pooh. Pooh, where did you find that pole? Oh, I just found it. I thought it ought to be useful. I just picked it up. Pooh? The expedition is over. Hmm? You have found the North Pole. Oh. Tell Rue to be quick, somebody. My tail's getting cold. Oh, Christopher, we've forgotten Eeyore. I don't want to mention it, but I must mention it. I don't want to complain, but there it is. My tail's cold. Yeah, look at me. 